Hello again, Brother Niddle. It is good to see you, Cyrus. Can you heal me, Brother Niddle? Please forgive the formalities, but the governor has levied a temple tax of 25 gold for any magical services rendered, healing or otherwise. Will you pay the tax? Forget it. I am truly sorry, but I cannot help you then. My sister Izara has been missing for near three months. Perhaps you have heard of her? I knew her well, actually. But she never mentioned having a brother. She was a fiery sort, as I'm sure you know, and her red god blood did not fare well under imperial rule. She is not the only nationalist who has disappeared since the governor claimed the city. There have been others. What others have disappeared? Brother Kithral, my initiate and good friend, for one. He was an outspoken man and a crown sympathizer. He was enamored of your sister, I must say, and took to her crown propaganda readily. Are you a follower of R.K. Cyrus? Me? No. Well, not in the worshipper sense. In what sense, then? I'm not that wayward, brother. I do believe in the gods and in their, you know, um, importance to man and, you know, all that. And R.K.'s importance would be... I'm usually the one who asks all the questions, Brother Niddle. Humor an old man. R.K., then, the shepherd of the soul who watches us through our lives and our deaths and guides us between them and the heavenly uh, enter. May he watch over you. Is there anything you can tell me about the Restless League, brother? I uh, know very little about their activities, Silas. The common stories, sure, but not much more. I know even less of the League than you, brother. The common stories included. Then know that they are ruffians and cutthroats who would like nothing more than carve their symbol upon the Emperor's eyes for daring to set them on Hammerfell. And know they secretly served the Prince against the forebears during the Civil War to help Ator win back Sentinel. What is the League's symbol? The Red R, for restless as they ever are. Trust me, you will see it if you stay in Stross Mackay for long, invariably written in Imperial blood. Sentinel, the capital city. From when Sator was forced to flee soon after his father died. Aye, but the crowns gathered here at Stross Mackay and charged northwards to take their throne city back. But by then, the Imperial bargain had been struck. How is Stros Mackay these days, Brother Niddle? You should be able to see it just from the faces on the streets, my boy. But then again, there aren't that many faces out there anymore. Things have become quiet since the occupation. I have seen the Empire expanding into all of Tamriel in my travels. Why is the occupation of Shros Mackay full of more bloodshed than most? You have only your Red Guard blood to answer that, my boy. When has Hammerfell ever suffered foreign rule? The civil war was bloody to be sure, but when the forebears allied with the Empire, the crowns felt they had been betrayed by their own kind. They were prepared to fight to the last man. And the Empire sent Admiral Richton to make sure they did. Tell me of the forebears. Living in Stross Mackay, you only get the crown definition, of course. That the forebears were the pretenders to the throne, that they betrayed the Republic, and that Hammerfell has been cursed by their cowardice. Azara was a crown, I know that. As a crown, what would be her fate? I fear, sadly, that the crown's days are ended. The forebears' alliance with Emperor Septim made sure of that. 
What else do you know about Richton? That you should stay away from him, my boy. He will not care if you are a crown or not, should he find out that you are Izara's brother. However, you are probably safe in the city for the time being, as he never leaves the palace, seems. I escaped Hammerfell just before the Civil War and without regret. And that is probably why Azara never mentioned me to you. Uh, well, it was through a mutual friend that I learned of her disappearance. The war cost this city much, Cyrus. Though an outsider may not see it, the crowns are gone now, and only the League remains as their testament. The temple seems very empty, Brother Niddle. Are you its only priest? We have ever been understaffed. It was horrible right after the battle. All the dead and dying. But luckily, I had Brother Kithral to help me tend to them. Since he is gone now, I must carry on alone. What can you tell me about the governor? That he is a hard man. Richton threatened to raise the temple when I refused to hand over the wounded of Prince Ator, who had survived the battle. I assured him that even his emperor could not defy divine law. Nevertheless, the wounded under my care were healed only to be thrown into the catacombs thereafter. What of Prince Ator? He was lost at sea, my boy. That is all I know. And uh, that it was rumored that Isara knew him personally. So my sister knew the prince then? Leave that alone, boy. That was but a rumor. Did my sister fight in the Battle of Stros Mackay? No, she was never part of the military. She could have been, though. She was good with a sword. I hear. What is the divine law? Richton wanted to rescind the crown's right to sanctuary while they were wounded, or to desecrate the bodies of the enemy dead before I gave them their last rites. So it tours men are in the catacombs then? Either that, or they are fruit for the necromancer. It is somehow appropriate that Richton deals with that nefarious slug. What happened to the bodies of Ator's men after the last rites? Food for the dragon, more than likely. But at least their souls are safe from the necromancer. The Imperials have a dragon? Its name is Nafalalagas, and it lives in the catacombs, or so I have heard. It has not been seen in the skies since the battle, so maybe Ripton is lying about it still being around. What about this necromancer? Nagasta has been here long, manifest in Thassad's good rule. Ator had kept his wretchedness at bay, but now with the prince gone, he has cursed the land. How has Nagasta cursed the land? The very soil of Stros Makai is cursed. Nagasta has become very powerful and has weaved a soul snare across the island. Any who die must quickly have their last rites performed before their souls become his to claim. Do you know anyone that Azara may have kept company with, a uh, vanished nationalist or otherwise? Like I said, I knew her well. And she spoke often to Brother Ketral, my former initiate, but he, too, has disappeared. She was a devout Archaean, Isara. I once almost convinced her to join the temple, but that was before she... well... Before she what, Brother Niddle? Well, man, before she vanished. I trust that you will seek me out if you hear anything more of my sister. I will be honest, Cyrus. She is either dead or worse, for I know she would not have left Stros Mackay even after Ator's defeat. Richton had a list of rebels when he took the throne, and Isara's name was undoubtedly upon it. Why the temple tax? Just another of Richton's rules. 
my boy, along with several other solutions to the burden of empire. When did you last see Kithla? I sent him to the park for fresh mandrake root, and that is probably where Richton's men were waiting. Kithral was against the Imperial expansion from the start, though I reminded him that Arke frowns on more secular interests. This warning Kithral obviously did not take to heart. Until later, Brother Niddle. Goodbye, my son. One moment. Go about your business, Redguard. It's locked. Welcome to Jefers. Hail, Desert Walker. I am Cyrus. Jefer is at your service. Ever heard of a group called the Restless League? Some say pirates, some say rebels. Jefer knows too little to judge. Rumor calls them secret allies of the late prince. Whether they survive the crown's defeat, Jafar cannot say. I'd like to buy a book. These shelves hold wisdom and folly in equal measure. Choose carefully. Do you recommend Favril's Dwarven lore? Marabar Sul's ancient tales of the Dreamer is more comprehensive, but hard to come by, alas. And a weighty tome, too, at 16 volumes. For 54 gold, Favril's little book is an excellent overview. I'll take it. Excellent choice. Peace, Desert Walker. I must go. probably need to find something to use it with. I need to use this with something else. I can't use this by itself. It's locked. What's a password? Open up. Sorry, mate, I can't help you.
Yes? Good day. I'm Cyrus. Aren't too many youngsters around these days, especially not as well-spoken as you. I'm Maiko, the local cartographer. Can I help you? Do you have any maps for sale? Sorry, I don't sell retail. Contract work only. But perhaps I can make a map for you? I could use a map of the island. I used to make those, but I can't compete with the big Hammerfell cartography houses. Hire beggars and street urchins to copy off a master map. You've probably seen their cheap city maps around. Nothing like a good hand-drawn map. <laughs> yeah, but people don't seem to care about craftsmanship anymore. We'll talk later. Hmm. Hello. Hello, stranger. Welcome to the Mages Guild of Stroh's Mackay, fully chartered since 638 CE. I'm the resident shopkeeper hereabouts. Feel free to look around, but remember, everything is guild property. If there's anything you'd like to buy, just let me know. How old is the Mages Guild? This one? Or the institution itself? This one is fairly new, 200 years and a fourth more. Modern magic scheme, late to Hammerfell. Red guards have strong traditions. But even they took finally to the notion of a more controlled and conscious auspice for magic. Mages Guild was a reaction to that mass hedgery of old when magic was wild and unbalanced. How very modern for an elf. When you're a student, you embrace the institutional line if you want to graduate. What's, uh, what, what, what's for sale? Magical potions of all sorts. What potions do you have? Healing potions, strength potions, and potions of iron skin. I'll take a healing potion. Okay, that'll be 25 gold. Thanks. I'll take a healing potion. Okay, that'll be 25 gold. Thanks. How about a strength potion? Right here, 25 gold pieces. Thanks. What kind of town is Stros Mackay? I'm too busy studying to pay it much mind. Plus, with the Empire here, the streets feel kind of dangerous. So you never leave the guild? If you want to know the truth, wide open spaces kind of make me nervous. Many wood elves are like that, you know. They miss the canopy of the Valen wood trees. Our second sky, the middle green. Let's just say I don't wander around in Stros Mackay enough to know that much about it. Has the Empire interfered with the Mages Guild yet? Of that I am not at liberty to say. I shall say, Archmage Jagenbeer is trying to stay on their good side. He's got his greedy eyes on the battle spire. Who is the Archmage? Human named Jagenbeer. A real hard case. Doesn't really have enough secrets to be Archmage. But the last one was killed at the Battle of Stros Mackay, so there was a vacuum to fill. Do you think Jagenveer knows anything about Azara? Wouldn't tell you if he did. He doesn't talk to mundane. And he's too busy studying for the battle spire to be seen lately. What's the battle spire? A war college set up by the Empire to test its battle mages. An elite mages guild, really. Archmage Jagenveer's got his sights on the battle spire recently. Though why anybody would want to hang out with those losers is beyond me. What happened to the last Archmage? Oh, his Red Guard blood got the better of him. He died in the Battle of Stros Mackay, fighting alongside the Prince. The Mages' Guild helped the Crowns in the battle? Not the Mages' Guild, just former Archmage Voa. He was a nationalist as well as a guild member and couldn't help himself. Got killed for mundane politics. Thanks for your help. The name's Felicia. I'll be here. Thanks, Felicia. Thanks yourself.
Hmm. Text on potions. Says here that orc's blood mixed with pig sack provides great strength. Leave me, please. I have much to do. Hmm. It doesn't do anything by itself. Good day. Looking for something? Felicia. Welcome back. Do you know anything about the Restless League? I'm afraid not. The Major's Guild tries to stay out of the lesser politics. I'm looking for a young woman named Izara. The name is not familiar, sir. Might she have been a member of the Guild? It's unlikely, but she may have been a customer here at your shop. I can't recall anybody by that name, but so many people come here from day to day, it's no surprise. And I would be the only one who works the shop since my apprenticeship, for some cruel reason, seems relegated to retail. How long do you have to be an apprentice, Ms... Felicia, and it's been way too long. I think the guild has a prejudice against elves based on the fact that we live so long. And have the potential of reaching heights no human wizard could ever dream for, unless he goes the rotting way, which so many do. But I guess I'm just being bitter. One day I'll make Archmage, and maybe none too soon, considering there's an opening now. Goodbye. Come back again!
Excellent. 